What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box, I'm Bond and now we're going to be unboxing the Pokemon Sword and Shield Jewel Pack Steelbook Edition. Um, I also have this little uh, figure that was a pre-order bonus from game here in the UK. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a pre-order bonus anywhere else, but um, so we'll, we'll quickly crack this open to start with. So, I mean, it's kind of a Happy Meal toy, basically, but... Um, it's quite small, but it's, you know, if you want, we're looking for a little figure of the three starter Pokemon, this thing is pretty cool. Um, you know, it on your desk or something, I'm sure. It's pretty well detailed too, I'd say, for something so small anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the main event, obviously we've got, so this... Uh, edition comes with both sword and shield, which I never really understood why there was two versions of the Pokemon games. Um, I mean, I guess back in the day for like trading and stuff, but I mean, I think we're at a point now where they could just make one and put all the Pokemon in one game instead of basically getting you to buy two games to have one essentially. But anyway, many ran over. Um, so this is obviously the first console Pokemon mainline Pokemon game. Um, it's more 3D, uh, set in a new region, kind of themed around the UK, which is pretty cool, at least for me, I'd say. Um, so yeah, that's... So as you can see inside, we've got three cases. So you also get in here the code, um, for the... Dynamax, is that what they're called? Here, we'll look on the back. Two Dynamax crystals. Challenge Lavata and Jangmo O in max raid battles. So, that's what those codes are for. Um, so, we have Sword, Shield, and the Steelbook. Um, we'll crack open Sword first. Okay. It's supposed to be a tearaway strip here, and it's not there. It's just... Okay. Let's not have a fight with plastic today. There we go. We're... Okay, we're not in... We're half in. So, Pokemon Shield. So you need online to do any kind of trading and stuff, which is kind of sucks, but there we go. Um, that is the world we live in now. Get a special Meowth that can Gigantamax. I don't understand. So, launch Pokemon Shield, select Mystery Gift, select Get Mystery Gift, select Get via Internet, then yes. Huh. So I guess everybody can have one, there's no like code or anything. We'll see, we've got what, the new Pokedex I guess, on the inside. And then the cartridge that I'm sure tastes horrible. <laughs> um, so that's shield. Nope, that's sword. I stand corrected. Sorry. Let's see what's in shield. This one was easier to get into. Basically the same on the back, as far as with different legendary Pokemon, obviously. A couple of different pictures. Actually, there's a lot of different pictures on there. Okay, right, so I was getting wrapped up in the comparison. Again, the same info about getting a giant Meowth. Same inside, different cartridge. She 
shield, but here's the steel book. So on the front we have the shield Pokemon. I do not know their names, I'm sorry. Um, and on the back we have the sword Pokemon. No title on the spine, which is somewhat common for uh, Nintendo Switch games. Unfortunately, they do get some, so it's not impossible. So it's still a little bit annoying. Kind of got this recessed effect, which I'm not particularly huge on. But it is nice the way, kind of like if you've been watching my videos for a while, you notice my thumbnails do kind of the same thing. Where there's a border and then stuff that's kind of in front of the border, which is kind of what this has done by being raised up. So actually does look kind of cool. I didn't notice it raised up right away. And the same on the back. On the inside, we have space for two cartridges, which is really cool. I was wondering how that was going to work. Um, and then a picture of the Galnor. Is it Galnor? One of these covers is going to tell me, hopefully, right? So I'm probably just butchering the name of that game horrendously, so, but either way, so all that stuff can just slot in nicely into one case, hopefully. So that's really cool actually, I've been able to have both of the games in one case, I think it would be better if they were both just one game, but we won't get into that again. So there we have it, that is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Dual Pack Steelbook Edition. Um, so, like I said, not a crazy addition by any means. You get a couple of Dynamax Pokemon, two games, the steel book that houses both of them at once, which is pretty cool. And then, well, there was this little uh, little figure at the start of Pokemon. Which again, I forget their names. I'll be picking the fire looking bunny, Score Bunny, whatever he's called. I'm a fire type uh, person. Always picked Charmander when I was a child too. So yeah, that is it. Let me know let me know in the comments if you guys have picked either of these games up what you think. I know there's a lot of controversy around this game at the moment, uh, mainly because they didn't include every Pokemon ever made uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, try and keep that to a minimum, I guess. I mean, if you if your favorite Pokemon's not in here, that kind of sucks, but there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, give me that sub if you want to see more content, hit the bell if you want to know when that stuff goes live, uh, I hope you all enjoy whatever you're playing, whether it's Pokemon or, or another game, let me know what you're playing, uh, hit me up on Twitter if you want, my link's in the description, um, hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time.